Hello and welcome. My name is Kate Griffiths from Whole Self Leadership and I'm coming on today to share with you some helpful information about the energy at this time and how to really make the most of it, get the most out of this time. So I think we're all aware that there's an awful lot of chaos around. You just have to look at what's been going on in the US in the recent couple of weeks and the sort of comments and jokes that have been flying around. But whatever your position about what's been happening, it's unsettling. Unsettling and that affects the collective and there's been an awful lot of fear you know, about what this might mean for you know, the democratic process and so on. So let's go up even further than that, at an even more macro level. Our world is completely changing, shifting from an old paradigm, old ways of being, which we know and we understand, even if we don't like them, to new ways, which haven't emerged fully yet, which also makes it had unsettling, because we don't know what that means. And it's also here in the Northern Hemisphere, winter, which is time when we withdraw, when we have less energy, more tired. And it's a natural process to go within, to reflect. And so that's what's been called for. So I relate it to the earth element and the season, which is why I'm particularly interested in sharing with you this beautiful bottle here. What do you make of that? The clear and the copper. Hold nothing back. Do not censor any thoughts about the bottle. It's all perfect. And it's your subconscious talking to you that bringing up whatever it is that you need to see. And I wouldn't be surprised if you told me you didn't like the copper. People, I find clients rarely ever choose copper bottles because it has a heaviness about it. But actually it's a really, really grounding colour and it helps us to feel connected to the earth, to be safe here on earth and to be part of what's going on rather than to get lost in a sense of disconnection and disassociation, of which there is a lot around at the moment. And that particular bottle is called Incarnating. And at the minute I am running a copper journey with a group and we were looking at that bottle the other day. And as I was preparing for that, I looked, well, what other words are similar to incarnation? And one of them is embodiment. And this idea of really feeling safe in your body, bringing all of who you are and all of what you're feeling, connecting it in. And that's much more difficult right now because certainly here in the UK, we're in another lockdown. We're not really seeing anybody except if we live with people, our own family. And so there's a lack of touch. But here's the thing, we can touch ourselves. So why not take the palms of your hand and place them for a minute on your belly and notice how that feels. And if you keep it there for some time, you'll feel a warmth growing. And this isn't surprising because this is your core. This is you at your core. We know about heart intelligence. But actually there's massive intelligence center in your in these parts in your solar plexus your sacral chakra and in your belly so holding it here you're connecting to your essence and as you feel into this you may feel a connection to all beings and all creatures birds, microbes, whatever. It reminds me in the loving kindness meditation 
May all beings, wherever they are, be safe and well. And it doesn't matter how much pain you're in, how wounded you are, and whatever the reasons, if you keep your hands here for a few minutes, you will start to feel the release. And it's as if you're being held by somebody else, like a mother embracing a child. So is it any wonder really that those who do massage, especially those interested in the menopause, focus on this area, uh, focus on the area and they do womb meditations, womb massages, connect you back to this central point. And when you think when you're born, the umbilical cord, the placenta, that touches from your mother into your belly. That's what makes your belly button. So it's the force of life in so many ways. So that's the first thing I wanted to share with you. And the second is that um, I was reading a poem, I think it's called The Coming by R.S. Thomas, about incarnation. And I can't remember any of it off by heart, but it's, look it up, it's beautiful because it's a picture of God and Jesus looking down across and seeing men and women in desperate circumstances stretching out with their hands and there's this one barren tree on the hill there's nothing and they're desolate and the son of God is so filled with compassion he turns to his father and says send me there I want to go there it's such a beautiful feeling and it reminds us that However difficult something feels, we're never alone. And whatever's happening in your life, and believe you me, I had a week this week which was mad and crazy in many respects. I learned some news about the system that I work with and some changes that are coming in that could cost me about, I don't know, £2,000 a year. And that felt enormous and I felt anxious about it initially, the impact it would have on my business. And then there was another part of me that recognised that it's time for this system to grow up and mature as a business. And therefore it was an opportunity for expansion. And even though I didn't know how it could be expansion for me, in that moment I was able to surrender to what what it was, what is, and let go. And in doing that, the most amazing miracle happened. The very next day, I got offered a small piece of work, five days, maybe 10, and the amount of money I was going to be paid for that work, which is a regular annual thing, was the amount of money I was potentially losing in my other business. And there is no way, I had no idea that that was gonna come in. And that's the gift. If we let go of control, let go and let God, the miracles will happen and they do happen. And that bottle can help you to access them if you're really struggling. And why that's important brings us almost to the last bottle I want to share with you, which is this one, which came up this week. And it's a beautiful turquoise bottle. And it's called Creativity. It's number 30 in the colour mirror system. And again, look at it, see how it makes you feel, where it takes you, what images or memories come up for you. It's all information. And this is often a time of year when people do take stock, partly because it's winter, as we're saying, in the Northern Hemisphere, and it's the start of a new year. We're going into the year of the ox shortly, 
um, in the Chinese New Year season. We've had New Year on the Western calendar. And it's about taking time out so that you can be creative. And it's funny if you slow down and you, copper also links us to nature, you go into nature and you take a walk and you really see everything. You get filled with ideas and creativity and opportunities of things that you can do and be. There are answers on every corner, everywhere, if you take the time to look. And if you love the spritzers, then I can recommend working with this one if you need to ground and you need that sense of safety. This is called Earth. And if you change the word letters round, you get heart. So it's the connection back to Mother Earth, Gaia, who holds us all in the palm of her hand. And it feels so right at this time of year where it's, we want to be warm, we want to be indoors, homely, hugged, huddling, being cosy. So I wish you a wonder-filled week wherever you are and go well till we meet again. Bye for now.